Okay, we're going to deal with chapter 7. This will, uh, we're going to deal with three string methods that are going to be involved in chapter 7. We're going to deal with the, the length method, the index of method, and the substring method. And we'll show how those are used in computer programming. So, <clears throat> let's start with the length method. You'll notice this is a method. Uh, because you have the name of the method here and then you have the parentheses like we learned in chapter 3 like the print method and then the methods uh, that we have also made ourselves that's how they look and so what is the purpose uh, of a length method what does it do it returns an int value equal to the number of characters in a string so there may be times in a program where you want the um, the computer to calculate the number of characters in a particular word or string of characters, and so uh, what are what are the characters in the string? Well, let's just if you just look at this here, how many characters would you say are in this uh, particular variable? And so most people would say there's one, two, three, four, and five, and that would be correct. So there are five characters. Each letter is a character. Then we go to the next one for full name. What would be that? So count that up. And what you'll see is that you have one, two, three, four, five, and then you include the space. Space is a character. It's something that's printed uh, because it's in between the quotation marks. So six, seven, eight, nine. So if you said nine, that would be correct. Then we add another element to this. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then thirteen because we see that punctuation marks are also characters. So you have letters, spaces, and punctuation marks and symbols are going to be included in the list of characters. <clears throat> so how's this done? Uh, the length method um, has, we have a certain template for it. So let's say you have a string uh, type, data type, and you have some variable, and it has been assigned some particular value, some literal string over here. And let's say it has four characters in there. If you want Java to find the or return the number of characters in this particular string, you would first list the name of the variable, and then you would have the dot, and then you would have the name of the method, and then the parentheses. All right, so variable dot length. And so that would be the template now, an example of how that works. If you have a variable named cat, and this is a data type string, and here's the literal string, that's the value of this string, this variable. So you have the name of the variable, which is cat, dot, and then length in the parentheses. And that gives you, what will happen <coughs> is Java will return a six in there because it will go and do the work for you. It'll count one, two, three, four, five, six, and then replace this or print or whatever it's going to be, however this is going to be used, it's going to return a six. So we're going to do some practice here in just a second, uh, but before we do that, we need to have some reminders because the bottom half of page one is going to have um, some things that we want to make sure that we remember, some skills that we remember as far as working with Java. So if the first one is that when you have a print statement without the LN, then that means to print, do the printing, and then stay on that line or don't go to the next line. And also remember that the um, LN, of course, means that you after you print what's in there um, in the print statement, then you go to the next line you press enter. And then this one, which we've been doing a little bit lately, is you've got 
the escape character with the backslash and an N. This means go to the next line or print enter. Print enter. So what happens is that as the and well, and then this says go to the next line after you print. This says print now. This one says print after we're done. So what happens is you go uh, you so when when the print method sees this character, it goes, uh oh, I better go to the next line right now. So it does this first. And then it says, then it prints hello. And then once it prints hello, then it goes to the next line. Right? Then <coughs> um, another thing to add to our notes is Let's say that we have, uh, you know, how do calculations work in, within a print statement? Because that can be tricky at times. And so if we have x is assigned 7 and y is assigned 8, if you just were to print those, well, the plus sign is going to act as an addition operator. It'll actually add the numbers together and give you 15. All right, but remember, a uh, a plus sign can also act as a concatenation operator where it just joins things together. And so in the next statement, we are starting out with a string. And so the question is, is this an addition operator or a concatenation operator? Well, x is 7. But can you add a string and a 7 together and make any sense out of that? Well, the answer is no. So it can't be used as an addition operator. This addition sign is used as a concatenation operator. So it is going to join those together. So now you've got this, you've got um, your string, which is number. OK, I added something here. <coughs> So you have your string, which is number and the and the colon and a space. That's a string, and then you're joining to that string a seven. So this is actually this whole thing is a string. Adding a number doesn't make it an integer. And then it, then you have this plus sign again, and so you can, again you can't add a string to an int. So it concatenates once again. And so now we add the y, which is 8. So it says number colon 78. So you notice it did not add to them. The next one down does this. It sees a number 7. It sees the number 8. and The plus sign goes, oh, OK, well, I can add these two numbers together that makes sense so this is really 15 and then we have uh, a plus sign and we're trying to add 15 to a string which you can't do so we don't add it to a string we concatenate and so this will be a concatenation operator and so it's just going to say 15 number and then the last one what happens is um, because of the uh, parentheses. <clears throat> so this is like this guy, only it's got parentheses around the sum. So once it, it sets up the parentheses, then, it, then the uh, compiler knows, OK, now we have two integers. We're going to add those together. So it's going to say number, colon, and then 15. So those would be some things to remember as you do the bottom half of page one. So as you're doing this um, on page one, the thing to remember, it says int num1 is assigned dog length. OK, so that means it's going to be assigned whatever number. Remember that a, a length method returns a, an int. So this is going to find the length or the number of characters in the variable dog. All right, so the variable dog. It's going to count the number of characters. It gets 5. So it's going to go int num1 is assigned 5. And then you want to keep track of num1 because you, you can see there's, it's going to change and it's going to be printed uh, throughout the program. So go ahead and continue uh, this. 
and uh, remember you're writing down what will be printed. So the very first thing that's going to be printed is phi, not nothing yet. It's not going to be printed. This is just the memory location. Um, and so there's going to be things, these are memory locations. Until you come to here, this is the first time you're going to print, but you have to keep track of your memory locations. So go ahead and finish that. There will be another video that will deal with the answers to these.